Hi, welcome to Simply Scrapping. Today it's time for the Coast to Coast YouTube Hop and we are a group of scrapbookers all over the world come together and use prompts to create a layout for you each month. So our prompts for July were family, which is for this photo is myself and my daughter, that's family. Screenshot, this is a shot that no one took it's an automated camera um, that it triggers every time a one of these cars comes out of the ride before you go down this massive big plunge. So that's sort of how I interpret the screenshot. It's not actually, it's an automatic type of shot. Um, one big photo, well that says it all, and it's super simple. And this is going to be super simple, sim blah, super simple. I don't have a heading. I'm letting the words on the photo um, tell the story. I will have journaling on the back. And I'm only going to have like two classes of smallish, well, two classes of embellishments, a little bit of stamping, and that is it. I've inked around the edges of the background paper, and this is a basic grey paper, porcelain range, called Dalton. But I thought the colours sort of were right. I'm going to stamp in this hatched, hatched type of stamp here from the Comfort and Hope um, stamp set from Stampin' Up. This is retired. I'm going to stamp in soft suede ink. And these are the embellishments I actually got in a recent embellishment swap. This had, um, I'll actually show you, I don't want to say it in case um, YouTube thinks I'm saying something else. <laughs> had this on the bottom of it. You can read what that says. I don't want to say it because it's too close to something else and I don't want to get blacklisted. Um, I didn't think that was appropriate for this picture because my daughter's in the picture. I don't know. I'm just funny about that. So I cut the sentiment off. This is <clears throat> um, the embellishment I made for the swap. Just a, what's it called? A windmill? No, what are they called? The old things in the... Oh, my mind's gone blank. Anyway, out of pants. Um... I got this in a, in a different um, swap, wasn't the, what was this called? Little Buckaroo was the swap name, and it was all western stuff, so I got all these in the one swap. The cowboy boots, a horseshoe, and a hat made by Amanda, and I think Karen, Kathy, sorry, made this one. So they were all part of the one swap, Little Buckaroo swap, which is western themed, and I thought when that was a theme, when am I ever going to use those? But I joined in the swap anyway because I love making the embellishments. And then when these prompts came up, one big photo, and it had to be like like sort of like a screenshot thing, I went, oh, that is perfect. And it's Wild West Falls. So like, how perfect are these embellishments? Cool. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. This is going to be a really quick one. So let's get started.
Okay, there's my page. Nice and simple. It really has only got the four lots of embellishments on it. Um, I brought in the black enamel dots instead of the brown ones I was going to use because the horse down here and the gentleman are black, so I needed to bring in some more black. So I did that with the embellishments, um, with the enamel dots, sorry. I think the stamping just adds a little bit extra, otherwise it would be a lot plainer. And it is quite um, simple, so that just added another element. I wasn't sure how it was going to go, but I really liked it in the end. So, yeah, I wanted to um, tell you a little bit more about this story. It gives me nightmares when I think of this um, event. Because my daughter was probably 10, maybe, at the time. A little bit littler. Um, and she really should not have gone on the ride because she tells us later that she was hanging on to that bar for grim death, grim life, whatever the saying is, because um, the bar wasn't touching her, keeping her in. So when we were going down this really steep slope, her bottom was lifting off the seat. And I have nightmares about what could have happened. And sometimes it brings me to tears to think that, oh my gosh, I could have lost her that day. She could have flown over that bar and gone, and she would have been killed. It was like, there's no ifs and buts about it. And it's like, oh, that gives me such nightmares thinking about that. Oh my God, I'm trying not to tear up now. Um, and it's just like, oh, if only I had have known, like, oh, I would not have taken her on it. But anyway, so... She's not keen to go on any rides. She's now nearly 20, but she's not keen to go on any rides. I think that scared her for life. Um, and it scared me for life too, thinking that, oh my gosh, I could have lost her that day. But anyway, that is um, my layout. Make sure you check out below everyone else who is playing along. If you've liked this page, give me the thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing, hitting that notify bell so you know when my next video comes out. Thank you so much for watching and have a scrap happy day. Bye-bye.